talk about what happened in Miami, the latest crazy white man losing his mind, pulling a gun on some black teenagers riding bicycles in Miami on MLK Day. The kids were part of an anti-gun violence event called Wheels Up, Guns Down. A woman claimed one of the bicyclists had run over her foot. Take a look at this video shared by the Dream Defenders. Now, there's a warning. The language, just like this show, is unfiltered. That gunman, Mark Bartlett, has been charged with carrying a concealed weapon without a permit. Bartlett was booked into the Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center. <laughs> the telephone conversation with Miami Channel 10 news reporter Madeline Bright. Bartlett said this, quote, The reason why we use that word, the reason why Chinese people use the word, why Japanese people, European people, the reason why everybody uses that word is because black people use that word. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> really, dude? Uh, we all we all knew the word for Puerto Ricans is spick. We all oh, knew Asian on. people as oh. gooks or whatever. Jews, we knew about Jews. Y'all 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 noticed he wouldn't. No, he, he, would. nope. he said he said well, I can't he, go that far. He, yeah, he, 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 he wouldn't use <laughs> he, he wouldn't he wouldn't use that word. He goes nobody uses those words anymore. Why? Because Puerto Ricans don't say that to each other. Because Asian people don't say that to each other. Because the Jewish people don't say that to each other. The only ones that continue to say it are black people. So what's the first thing in my head or, or most people's heads? Unfortunately. It's the N word. Really, really, dude? Really? That's 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 <laughs> that's, that's it. Joining us now is Dwight C. Wells, founder of Bikes Up, Guns Down. Uh, he was there when all of this happened. Uh, glad to have you uh, on the show, Dwight. How you doing? I'm doing fairly well. Thanks for asking. So, so we see the video. So this woman claims somebody <laughs> ran over her foot. So, what was the actual event? Like, so, so what were folks out there? on their bikes for? Was it a parade? Was it, well, what was the event? Well, well we, we were having a, a, a Martin Luther King parade in Miami-Dade County. And um, it's a housing situation that's going on in Miami-Dade County due to unfair housing. And the kids along with their parents and volunteers were out protesting against the affordable housing living due to the regentrification and them tearing down the urban communities in Miami-Dade County. Um, what took place was kids were protesting because the AMI um, for Liberty City, which is a historical landmark that was one of the second built public houses in the United States of America um, in the southern atmosphere of the United States. So to... Um, see that the AMI now is at $24,400 and the AMI that the private sectors is coming into Miami with is forty-eight dollars to $52,000 and those people don't meet the AMIs of that of that corridor okay. of the city and um, what happened was Miami-Dade County took and leased the public land for um, $307 million for 75 years so Dwight, so so Dwight, you, you so so yesterday, folks were uh, expressing their opposition to that. And what I'm saying is, was yeah. this was this in a park? Was it on? A, so where was the event taking place? Well, we was in Brooklyn. We was in downtown Brooklyn, Miami, and all uh, the kids were um, protesting. Um, and a guy by the name of Mark got out of his vehicle. First, is um. Well, for, for, hold on, hold on, Dwight. Dwight, one second. So the woman. Okay, what, what, for her, what, was she just walking downtown? What, what, like, where does she come she from? She was in a Range Rover truck. She was in a Range Rover truck with Mar. They're in a relationship 
Um, they don't have the same last name, so I'm reckoning that they're boyfriend and girlfriend. So, so one second. So the woman, I'm trying to understand. The woman was in a vehicle, and yeah. she so she got out of the vehicle to accost the young men, and then that's what she claims they ran over her foot on a, with a bike. She got out of her car, and she was saying she had to get a kid from school. Kid was like, "We're protesting." I even stated to her, "We're protesting about our unfair housing," and um, she went to the vehicle. And we proceeded from one part of Brooklyn to the bridge. And as we got to the bridge, she was wondering why traffic being holed up. And out of 100 cars that parked on her Brooklyn Causeway, she was the only woman that jumped out of the car. And um, her significant other came minutes later and produced a gun on not just African-American kids, but Hispanic kids as well. Um, Bites up guns down symbolize a community of kids right. and young adults from all different parts of the culture. Um, first of all, just just for folks who know, so so one of the things a lot of people out here have been saying that uh, television outlets they they should be interviewing these kids like the uh, the white kids in Covington uh, with all the drama over the weekend. Uh, just so everybody uh, knows, uh, we of course we reached out to uh, family attorney uh, Lee Merritt uh, to have uh, some of them on the show. Uh, this is what uh, our booker said. Their parents don't want them to be on television, uh, and Lee Merritt says no. Uh, and so that's why we booked Dwight. So everybody out there who keeps saying, why isn't media putting these kids on television? We tried to get them on the show, but their parents have said they don't want those kids to be on television, and the, att the family attorney, Lee Merritt, he also said that they uh, will not be making appearances, so that's why we have Dwight. Uh, last thing, uh, Dwight, um, do you have any plans to change future protests? Uh, because clearly, you know, somebody could have been hurt if this guy decided to fire a gun. Yeah, um, we're we're um, planning that now to get um, the proper uh, officials out. But what's going on in Miami is, a, is, is an academic moment. Um, is is really at all historical low number when they come up to jobs, right? Out and out, out through the inner cities, and when you gotta make a move, you gotta make a move and let these people know we're for real. And uh, um, and we also got a news press conference lined up for tomorrow in downtown Brooklyn. So we're 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 gonna not let off the gas when it come up to getting these kids to justice. Rice up guns down, boys and girls. Um, I just want to leave y'all with this. It's the new organization that go against crime prevention and in prevention. We believe in installing education and mental tools to these kids. Now we will be adding on to install against racism because these kids witnessed something that, that they never witnessed before. You know what I mean? They heard about it, but they seen the hands on on Martin Luther King uh, parade day. All right. Uh, Dwight Wells, man, we certainly appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Okay, bro. Thanks for having me on. And uh, we'll, we'll be sure to keep you all in our prayers. And you guys be sure to do the same as well. Okay. All right. Thanks so, thanks so very much. Uh, folks, uh, look about our panel real quick here. I keep telling people, I keep saying, well, somebody, what, they going to end up dead, yeah. mm -hmm. acting a fool, running up on black folks like this, even though he had his weapon. Try to, he gonna run up against the folks, they gonna have four or five of their own guns. Yeah. Let, let's understand the power of white privilege in this moment, that you were charged with possession of a concealed weapon and without a, a permit and not aggravated assault, not assault for deadly murder. weapon. Like if, if you, I get, if any of us walk out of this, uh, this room right now and get take a group of white teenagers and pull our gun out, we're gonna be charged with multiple felonies. Oh, not, yes. Not a misdemeanor licensing issue. Mm -hmm. When you pull your gun out, just because you're in a concealed carry state doesn't mean you just get to pull it out whenever you feel like it. That is a felony that he committed, and the power of white privilege is the fact that he's only charged with misdemeanor. Yeah. Which I think is absolutely crazy. Um, I mean, it's... He's lucky he didn't get his gun beaten and taken. From I'm him. telling you, I, 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 I mean, I, I've I seen can't. that happen but, time and time but, again. But the thing is, you know, you know, the thing is, you know, I agree with Roland. There's going to come a time where somebody's going to pull a gun and they're going to have five, four, five pointed back at them Absolutely. and probably end up losing their life. But what happens with a lot of these bullies is they tend to target children. Yes. Yep. Is that what that's what he did yep. here, or they target women. 
and they are afraid to do that with someone who is clearly their size and can defend themselves. Yep. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, let's talk about one of our partners, The Herbs Cleanse. In 2019, many folks, of course, are focused on their health, trying to get better, trying to look better, getting ready for the beach season. Other folks, of course, improving their golf game, all this sort of good stuff. And so they want to be able to uh, have a healthier uh, new year. So one of the ways to do that is the D-Herbs Cleanse. Uh, it's something that I actually have been on. I started a couple weeks ago, so I have now uh, four more days, four more days. And so uh, it can certainly make a difference when it comes to losing weight, also giving folks uh, more energy as well, improving their overall uh, being. And so if you want to do that, this is what you can do. You can join those of us who are on it by going to dherbs.com and then use the promo code ROLAND. You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. Okay.